everybody I'm here today with a video tutorial on the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 smartphone stabilizer that you see right here this will be an active track tutorial and I'll be going over how to use it easily with a few simple steps let's get right into the video what is active track technology active track is essentially the technology on the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 smartphone stabilizer that you see right over here once again that with that, that's a mouthful I've said that a few times but it's basically the technology that will allow the gimbal to track you and follow you so when you place um, you know if you're holding it or if you place it down it will follow your head and your body around it can also follow any other object that you hold in front of it <clears throat> so let's get into this give me one sec I got a cough give me a second <clears throat> all right that's good sorry I had a lot of water before filming this video and I drank it too fast, so I'm probably going to have a little bit of indigestion. I'm going to have to cough a few times. <coughs> We're good to go. Sorry, I do apologize. Anyways, uh, to turn it on is very easy. What you want to do is make sure your smartphone is connected to the gimbal. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to unlock my smartphone. This is my old iPhone. I use this for videos. Uh, whenever I have to do a video, technological video with an iPhone, I just use this old one right here. So essentially, I have it connected over here, as you can see. Uh, you'll know that it's connected because it will respond whenever you use the joystick and so forth. Now, to turn on smart track technology active track technology I called it the wrong thing essentially you want to get the object or the person in front of it and I'll do my best here let me lean the let me lean the seat back let's lean back baby okay and you want to push the trigger button here when that object or person is in front of it so I'm going to go out I'm going to get in front of it like this myself I'm going to push the trigger button right now okay and what happens is a green box shows up around my face. So watch this. I'm not doing anything. I'm just holding it, okay? And watch as I move my head. Look at this. Woo! Look. It's following me. Where did I go? Come on. Follow me. There you go. To the side. To the side. To the side. There you go. Pretty, pretty cool. And you can turn it off by pressing that again. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll point it to the camera. Let's point this to the camera over here. And I will show you how it works. So we're at the camera right now, and it should work on the camera as well. I'm going to push the trigger button right now, and it should pick up the camera. So right now, as I move the gimbal, it's following. The, it's always staying focused on the camera. I'm not... Look, I'll prove it. I'm not... No, I have to hold the handle. Sorry, it's, it's vibrant. I have to hold the handle. I'm not touching the joystick at all. It's just following the camera. As you can see, no matter where I move the gimbal... It's following the camera, which is really, I can turn it like as much as I want to. It's going to follow the camera. It's going to search for it. So essentially, and I'm going to, I'm going to turn it off right now. Essentially, it's going to search for, if, if it loses sight of the, of the object or the person, it's going to search for it. And if it can't find it in a certain amount of time, then it's going to just turn off active track. The other option is you can turn on gesture control. Gesture control is very simple. You literally just turn it on over here. So I'll show you. There's a menu right here. Um, um, and if I click the menu over here and I go to the right here, so let's uh, find the option over here. Where did it go? Um, gesture control. I had it before I was when I was getting ready for this video. Um, video. Here we go. Where did it go? Gesture control. No, I can't find. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to look for it on camera over here. So let's see if I can find it within a few. Oh, here we go. Here we go. On the bottom, there's a little hand. And it says off. And if I click that, then gesture control is now, I can turn it on. And what that means is when I hold my hand up like this, okay, it's going to count on three, two, one, and it's going to start recording, and it's going to follow me as it records. I'm not going to demonstrate because I don't want to make a video on this right now, but I can hold my hand like this with gesture control on, like to say hi. It's going to count on three, two, one. It's going to start recording, and it's going to follow me, okay? Now, it has the option to follow and shoot, so follow and film the video, or just film the video. But if you choose follow and shoot, which is follow and film the video, follow and shoot the video, then it's going to active track and you can hands-free start the video as well. So those are essentially the two ways to turn on. Let me just lock my phone here and turn the gimbal off. Those are essentially the two ways to turn on active track. The first way is just um, pushing the trigger right there um, and the back and it just automatically turns it on. And the second way is using gesture control, which allows you to turn it on in a hands-free mode and then it will track you as it films. Um, really, really cool feature, unbelievably useful for certain situations where you want it to follow you around. Um, and that is essentially, you essentially have a camera man or a camera woman, a camera person without actually having to have someone there. You can have so it follow you around without actually having to have a person behind the camera. And it is extremely accurate and as long as you don't 
don't move super quickly, it's gonna follow along buttery smoothly. Smooth like butter, baby. And that's it. If you like this video tutorial, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Once again, sorry, I, I just, I, I feel like I need to tell you. I talked about the indigestion uh, before. You know what's interesting? And this is a random little point. If hopefully you stayed till the end of this because you're gonna get to hear this, is that I get indigestion when I haven't eaten in a long time and when I drink a lot, when I drink a lot of water once. And um, essentially, I haven't eaten my lunch yet and it's like half an hour past when I would usually eat lunch. And I guzzled a whole bunch of water before I started filming a bunch of these videos now. So like those two things together, I'm getting like massive hiccups and indigestion and burps. So, I do apologize, but anyways, back to the regular um, regular outro. If you like this video tutorial, please be sure to give it a one thumbs up or two thumbs up or 20 thumbs up, which I know you can only give it one thumbs up, so please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment, and of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.